bring back Chief Neurologist Dan Sianca. And Dan, a lot of people hitting the roads right now. They want to know what the weather's like. Yeah. You're dealing with rain right now, huh? Well, yeah, rain across the state. Uh, we've calmed down a little bit here locally, but there will be more late. If you're heading to Southern California tonight, uh, it's looking pretty wet there right now. It will slowly fade away to the south, but uh, expecting showers all the way down through Los Angeles this evening. It's cleared up a little bit in Northern California. There are still some chain controls up on Donner if you're headed up through I-80 and over the hill today. But more shower activity expected. You're not seeing it on radar because it's a little too far the, far out, but we can see these uh, clusters of clouds out here. That is going to be more rain for us tonight, even though this main band is already just kind of moving off of our region tonight. So I'm expecting the rain to pick back up again, which is good. We need it. I sounded really excited when I said that a second ago. Felt like I was... Well, I digress anyway. Here's a look at your drought update. Some good news to share with you. Maybe I was just getting excited about that. We did see some in, uh, some improvement in drought levels in various areas across the state, anywhere from the Mojave down to, say, Ventura County to the central and southern Sierra to the Tahoe region, and then perhaps up uh, just near the Sonoma Marin coastlines. These areas did see an improvement in drought status. Nothing locally, though. I've been trying to pay off the drought gods, but they're not listening to me. 23% of the state in exceptional drought, down from 28% last week. That's some good news. We remain here in extreme drought. Now, we saw some improvement in the Sierra Nevada. One of the reasons is they've got quite a bit of snow up there and more coming winter weather warnings in effect, basically all the way through, it's like a week of them, to 28th, that expires on the 28th. So winter storm warning, up in the mountains for the next several days. That's going to make travel hazardous. They were certainly a nuisance and certainly not easy. Just keep that in mind. I'm going to be driving over there myself, so make sure I got those fresh snow tires on. That's for sure. Anyway, look at the uh, snow accumulation here over the next couple of days. We're talking 65 inches. That's five plus feet of snow. Goodness gracious. Here's an interesting thing though, with the rain that we've been getting and the additional storm systems coming, we'll see some colder air continuing to move it. And look at, we've got a little bit of uh, a bullseye of some snowfall in this computer model anyway, in our local area as we head into the early portion of next week. Now, it's kind of a big wide swath of light snow and I don't expect lower elevation snow, but I think we'll get some more snow in the mountains. Just keep in mind these longer term computer models have a lower resolution, at least geographically. So it may just see a peak of snow here and then just spread it across the entire area. What I'm saying is don't expect snow down in Monterey early next week. Future cast tonight showing that increase in shower activity by 1 a.m., probably more so by midnight. Some of these could have some brief downpours. There's a tiny chance there might be a lightning bolt in here too, uh, but I'm not expecting widespread thunderstorms tonight. Just a, well, a crack of thunder possible. This whole cluster of showers and isolated embedded thunderstorms will move through probably by the time the sun comes up and start to move out. And then for most of the day tomorrow, I'm expecting cool, breezy, partly cloudy cloudy conditions and then tomorrow night we may get a few more sprinkles out of the low clouds that come in but uh, generally mostly dry tomorrow at least during the daylight hour so if you're trying to travel tomorrow here locally doesn't look too bad for it unfortunately Christmas Day that's 11 a.m. right in time for brunch looks like we're going to get another little patch of showers and maybe embedded thunderstorms as well with another one of these colder uh, waves or disturbances moving through the region. So expecting wet weather to return on Christmas Day. Tomorrow during the daylight hours looking okay. And then in additional precipitation tonight, we may see another inch or inch and a half perhaps up into some of the coastal hills with most cities getting another quarter of an inch tonight with that round of showers coming through. Quick look at your temperature forecast tomorrow. We're actually pretty mild today with many locations seeing highs in the 60s. We've actually saw that the last couple of days, but tomorrow we'll see a colder air mass in place. We're going to stay in the 50s. I'm going to go through these pretty quick, so find your city on the map. That was a 55 in Santa Cruz tomorrow. Same in Salinas, 56 in Hollister. It's very warm there tomorrow. Monterey, you're going to get a 56 for you too. Not too bad. And then down south, we will see highs mainly in the 50s. Let's get to that seven-day forecast because I want to show you that as I mentioned, we'll have several rounds coming. So tomorrow, a few showers in the morning and some sprinkles late. Then on Saturday, Christmas Day, mostly cloudy skies. Uh, we'll get some rain midday with some thunderstorms possible. Those showers could linger all the way into Sunday morning. Then a break Sunday afternoon. Rain returns Monday, and then we'll get a break early Tuesday. Then we'll see another system come in Tuesday into Wednesday, all the while expecting some chilly temperatures, breezy conditions. And as we look at our inland forecast, you'll see that I've even added mountain snow in the forecast on Monday with that system coming through. So. 
Lots to look out for, expecting some chilly temperatures as we wind down 2021, get you through the holidays, make sure you're driving safe on those roadways, give yourself some extra time in your travels so that you and your family get to your destination safe. All right, get Santa out of that chimney, please. Would you, Sam? Dad, thank you.